Primopolis is a small town. And we have the world's largest hot springs here. It gets a little hot here in the summer. And, uh, it's a nice place to live. Well, my name is Kenneth M. Tufner. I'm an electrician by trade. I thought I was going to retire and opened up my shop again and I work maybe two, three days at the most a week and that's about it. I'm considering health insurance but right now I don't have any because of the expense mostly. I haven't found a good plan that would equal the monthly payments yet and until I do I'm going to gamble and uh, not have it. When I quit the school district, they had a COBRA insurance. It was my whole retirement check of $800 a month, and I figured <laughs> we're not going to go that route. So I told them no thanks and all. And ever since then, uh, we really haven't had it. It isn't mandatory like uh, automobile insurance. So I'm going to get it, but until I find you know a really good plan on it, I'm still skeptical. I'm still searching. I'm very careful about getting electrocuted. If I could fall off the roof or fall off a ladder when I'm working or something, and it is a gamble, but it's a gamble I have no choice but to, you know, deal with. You know, if you if you're gonna let it get to your mind, then it's really gonna then you're gonna really start having accidents and all. So I really don't think about it. When I reach 65, I can go on Medicare, but that doesn't help my wife because she still has nine years to go before she reaches 65. But health insurance, I think that really the government should help out a little because the lower income families, they get it free and clear. So I don't think it's very fair in this country. I think it should be, you know, even all around.